Okay, right now we're going to talk about ridges and how can I do a very good maintaining my core, maintaining my bracing, maintaining my breathing in my talk without moving anything. So this is a great warm up, especially for glute activation, okay? So I'm gonna go in a single leg bridge. If single leg bridge is too hard for you, you can do a double leg, two legs on the ground. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna get my ribs down. Okay, so I'll start with a bigger arch, just so you can see it. Bring in my tuck, boom. And now when I tuck, if my ribs is still up like this, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my ribs down. You already know how to do this. So you can go on that fake crunch. This is the only time we're gonna do crunch ever. Okay, fake crunch. Now you're gonna go down, neck down, nose knob. This is locked. Nothing should move this. So if I'm starting a single leg, I can actually grab my hand and move over here. Hold for five seconds, come back down. Hold for five seconds, come back down. You notice that my toes are off the ground. My toes are not on the ground, off the ground. This way I can hit my glute a little bit more. Now this is very important. Either this is too hard for me, my leg is all over. Okay, go double leg. But the most important thing is, can I keep this? from moving and when I go here hit that glute squeeze that glute literally hit it I want you to create that mind muscle connection I hit this to my clients so much during the training they keep saying they can hear my voice during the training and that's the idea okay go here notice that I never lose my tuck right tuck is in the whole time look my lower back kisses mat come back up so if I'm doing single hand, I can actually bring the leg as close as I can, toe as I can, okay? Why? Because it's gonna do the tuck for me. See, kinda cool, right? So same thing, holding five seconds up. 